Hi, today I would like to speak about uh, ORCID schematic checking and be more specific, I always use Altium Designer to check all my ORCID schematic. Why that? Because uh, I think Altium Designer is excellent tool for net browsing. Ok, let's try check schematic in ORCID. What do you, what do you would normally do? Go to the first page, select first net, copy. I need to be sure I'm looking in whole project and find the net in whole project. And, and then go and check where the net is connected. Yeah. Uh, and then basically go through all the nets on the page and check where they are connected. For this this page it's a uh, it's a it's relatively simple because it's clear you can you can just go through the order and that's it. But if you have schematic like for example power supply yeah, there are a lot of small nets and it, it can what can very easily happen is you can miss a net and you will not check it. Or what 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 sometimes may happen is uh, is a relatively small uh, paper format. This is just A4. But if you use a larger paper, for example A3 then you can have much more nets in one page and then what may happen is uh, as you can see ORCID just uh, highlight the page or, or the net just with this purple color and it's very easy to miss if the purple color is somewhere else on the page you just may not spot it and you miss the connection. And uh, for me, it's important do not miss any connections. And uh, especially in case when I spend, for example, a week of checking schematic, I need to be sure that after this whole week of checking schematic, I didn't miss anything. Otherwise, it's a wasting of time. And that's why I don't use ORCID to check schematic. Now I'll show you how how much easier and how much better it is when you use Altium Designer. Let's import the schematic to Altium file, import wizard, ORCID designs and libraries files, edit the file, next, 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 and now just wait. Now we got our ORCID schematic imported in Altium Designer. And uh, all the magic is behind this navigator. This is why I use Altium Designer to check ORCID schematic. The navigator has four windows. The first window shows all the pages in our schematic. The second window shows all the components on the selected page. Okay? No components. Here are all these components are on this page. Third window shows all the nets on the selected page. And the fourth window shows where the selected net is connected but in whole schematic, not only the page. For example, as you can see, 
this pin is connected on the page 0, 2 and this pin is connected on the page 48 and both pins are connected to this net and one more thing uh, comparing to ORCID you remember uh, when you select net in ORCID it looks like this yeah, and you need to be careful and and when you are checking schematic you can't miss the selected nets and sometimes it's quite difficult and what may really easy happen is uh, you just will not f f spot for example this small net yeah? and you will forget to check it comparing to Altium Designer There is this feature. It's called show graph. And every time when I select a net, then all the pins are connected with these red wires. And it's impossible to miss net on the page. You immediately see where the same nets are connected. It's particularly very 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 useful for for powers as you can see here, you can easily check if, you, for example, if you have more, uh, if you use power su more power supplies, and you can very easily check if if the components are connected to the right power. Now, how I use this tool to check my schematic? I go through each page in my schematic and then on each page I go through every net on the page and for every net I go through all the pins connected to the net by this technique I can't miss anything I just go through all the nets and all the connections in my schematic now a practical example first page no components, no nets, no pins connected. Second page. I select first net on the list and I'm going to check it now. Uh, this is actually power net, then I'm, I'm not going to... I don't want to confuse you because there are a lot of pins connected to the power net. I will select uh, a simple net for example this one here yeah? when I check in this net it's connected to this clock ok and it is also connected to this connector ok and these two pins are all the pins where the net is connected now I can go to the next again I can check it's connected to the connector and our CPU and I go through all the nets just as they are here, I will find a better example to show you how the signals are tracked. For example, this one. Yeah. As you can see, this pin has a series resistor. Then it's connected to to the CPU and to the resistor. And I want to follow the signal. Then. I go to the resistor, it's this one, and I select the other pin. Yeah. And now automatically <coughs> here we can see where, where this pin is connected. It's on the net called MMC clock and the pin is connected to P9. I'll check here, yeah, is it what I want? It, this is the resistor, this is the pull up and pull down. Yeah. And I can check easily. And again, I can go back, and that's it. And I can continue now with next signal. And again, this and there is a series resistor, as you can see. Now go to the pin and see where it is connected to the connector. Okay, I go back. 
By using this technique, you can find any possible issues. The, the issues kind of... Uh, isn't there a missing pull up or pull down? Or is the transceiver connected to receiver? You know, you can say, uh, for example, this transceiver-receiver connection, it, it should be automatically checked by ORCAD or Altium by DRC, doing DRC. But if you use series register, then no, it will not work. And when you follow the signal from trans transceiver through the resistor and see on the other end there is the receiver, yes, the connection is correct. And checking these uh, transceiver-receiver signals is becoming very important these days because uh, high-speed serial buses are used much more and all these high-speed serial buses, or most of them, use series capacitors. And for example, if you have PCI Express devices on your board, then by, by checking uh, and tracking the signal, you can be sure the connection is correct. And why we should spend time with proper schematic checking? It's because then the designs are better and much higher quality. And higher quality work will increase your credibility at work but provide you example of how important it is and what can be achieved with proper schematic checking. Here are some of my uh, or some of the designs what I've been working on and for example this uh, Intel dual core i7 board after proper schematic checking is being sold as a version 1 issue 1 board also this, for example, also this Intel Atom board, again, is being sold to customers as a version 1 issue 1. That's why proper schematic checking is really important. That would be all for today's video. And you may find uh, interesting also my other videos, for example this one from DDR2 routing. Or if you would like to know more about me, just uh, visit my website on uh, federal.com Thank you for watching